Well, we are looking at a pretty uh, quiet start to our morning across the area. Plenty of clouds and we're looking at those clouds that continue to push in as we go through the morning and the afternoon hours. So expect a mostly cloudy day. 59 degrees to begin our morning winds out of the north northeast at 10 miles per hour. But many of us we are starting off dry. I am tracking some coastal showers at the moment because of the setup and we are looking at a stationary front. That's what is really driving those showers and thunderstorms along our coastal areas this morning. I do think the metro area north of Lake Pontchartrain will be dry for that morning commute, but again, we'll continue to see those isolated showers and storms really move across our coastal areas as we go through the morning hours. Here's a look at your temperatures, upper 50s, lower 60s, 59 in Beerus, good morning, 60 in Bell Chase, 52 in Hammond, and 57 degrees in Slidell. And the winds out of the northeast, and it is pre pretty breezy along our lakes and also our coastal areas. Winds will remain sustained out of the northeast between 5 to 15 miles per hour or stronger wind gusts as we go through today. So here's a look at your forecast as we go through the next several hours. Temperatures continuing to cool just a bit as we get closer to the 8 o'clock hour. Later on this afternoon, I do expect things to warm back up into the lower 60s. Plenty of clouds, not a whole lot of sunshine. And then later on this afternoon, a few isolated showers and storms are possible. Here's a look at your highs. Normally, we're supposed to be in the upper 60s. We'll be a few degrees shy of that as we go through today. But many spots are expected to climb into the middle 60s. That includes Hammond, Covington, and Slidell as we go through the afternoon hours. Really not a bad setup. Plenty of parades rolling tonight. If you're heading to the parade routes again, bring the umbrella with you. A few isolated showers are possible. I do think they will be brief. It's not going to be an ongoing rain, but again, those showers are again expected as we go through uh, later on this evening. Temperatures in the lower 60s around 2 and 5, lots of clouds, and notice the rain coverage continuing to go up as we go through the 7, even 8 o'clock hour. Weekend forecast, a 40% coverage for showers and storms early Saturday due to a cold front, but that cold front will usher in cooler air. Temperatures starting off in the 30s north of the lake, lower 40s south of the lake, and then we'll get into the middle 50s as we go through the afternoon hours with some, with some sunshine here and there and I do think evening parades will be fine on Sunday the sunshine returns going to be milder with temperatures in the lower 60s so here's the setup we'll have a disturbance with a cold front move through later on tonight into tomorrow morning that's what's going to drive more showers and storms behind that cold front cooler air moves in and then we have an area of high pressure moving in on Sunday and that's going to clear things up lots of sunshine in the forecast so timing the showers as we go through the morning again really confined along our coastal areas and over the Gulf of Mexico as we go through the afternoon. Plenty of clouds here and there and then a few spotty showers as we head into tonight. Now early Saturday morning here's that cold front moving through. Scattered showers and storms are possible as we go through the first half of the day and then as we head into your Saturday afternoon clouds will remain pretty stubborn but I do think will be much drier as we wrap up your Saturday and then clouds beginning to clear Saturday night. Here's a look at your seven day so 30% coverage for showers and storms really along our coastal areas as we go through the afternoon. Mostly cloudy, 62. Higher rain chances tonight. Rain early, 54 degrees Saturday afternoon. Lower 60s on Sunday. It'll be breezy. And then we warm up on Valentine's Day. Next cold front arrives Tuesday night.